Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and a demo of the new Mac Disney Aladdin collection to coincide with the release of the live feature film of Aladdin which is going to be coming out uh, in the next few months. So everybody's been very excited and I was actually quite surprised. I thought that this whole collection would like sell out. You know, like how it used to happen back in the day. I remember the Hello Kitty collection sell out, you know, that sort of thing, but it doesn't really seem to be the case these days. I think the only thing that I've noticed that has sold out is one of the lipsticks. And I was like, right, okay. And personally, I mean, you guys know, I don't really buy that much Mac these days. And I am going to admit that I did just jump on the bandwagon and the hype because I love the packaging and that was it really and just to go with the theme of the video why not we have princess jasmine here right now she's she's here with us a whole new world and all of that this is from zara again i think they released this because of the film not gonna lie my favorite disney film is beauty and the beast but anyway so they released all of this collection stuff uh on the first of may i want to say on the first and then it's got a worldwide release on the 15th of May. Now, when I say it released on the 1st, that is in the UK and Ireland. The rest of the world will be later on. So I'm gonna try and get this video up before it's released worldwide, just so that you guys can see and make a decision if you're interested, if you're not. Now I've bought five things from this collection. I bought three of the lipsticks and I bought both the blushes. Now, firstly, the lipsticks cost 17.50 each, which is I think the standard price of a MAC lipstick. And then both the powder blushes cost 23.50. Now, first off, I'm just going to quickly show you the packaging because it is divine. I absolutely love it. It's so, like, Arabic. This is what the box looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the gold metallic that just shines off of it. This is like a little peacock. There's a little lamp. Don't even look at my scabby nails. I really need to change my nail polish, but I want to do this video first because I love you guys and I just like to share. So that's what that looks like. And then inside is again this metallic fingerprint type of attracting case. It says Aladdin on it. It's got the beautiful design around here. And then you open it up. And this is what one of the blushes looks like with Aladdin's, uh, the genie's lamp in the middle with a nice mirror on the top. This one is called Your Wish Is My Command and it is a matte blush well that's what they've called it anyway and then this other matte blush which again that's how it's been described is called always one jump ahead and again it's got the genie's lamp and you can see what the color itself looks like with a nice mirror this is the lipstick packaging similar to what you've already seen on the blushes it says aladdin on here it's got peacock uh feathers on here and then when you open it up this is what the bullet looks like again the same as the blushes and then it's got a print of uh peacocks on here and then you open up the lipstick this one here is called princess incognito this one is called raja and then this one is called a whole new world this is the one for some reason has managed to sell out not sure why it's not my favourite out of all three. Now, packaging and gorgeous designs aside, let's clarify some things first. Neither of these are blushes. I don't know why they've been called blushes. I don't know why they've been described as blushes. This is a bronzer and this is a highlighter. Neither of them are blushes. You could call a bronzer a blusher if you wanted to, but I'm being real in makeup terms, we would all call this a bronzer. It is completely matte and it's brown. Most people use this to contour their face, not necessarily as a blush. And this is quite clearly gold. Since when is a blush gold? It's a highlighter, people. All three of the lipsticks that I've got have a matte finish. And first off, I just have to let you guys know, I didn't want to really get any more of the collection. I mean, there was some sort of greasy looking glaze. What am I going to do with that? The eyeshadow palettes, mm, they're never really that good, and especially because I don't really wear eyeshadow that much these days. I'm not going to use it, and it will be a waste of money. But I do have to say, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, all the lipsticks, 10 out of 10. I love every single thing that I bought. Now I'm trying to step away from the aesthetics of it and let's get down to the nitty gritty of the actual products themselves. Now, this bronzer is very, very, very dark. Look at it in comparison to my skin tone. In MAC, I am an NC40. At the moment, I'm just wearing this CC cream by IT Cosmetics in medium tan. And that's what I've got on my face, this. 
is dark. <laughs> Okay, when I first used it, I was like, oh my god, I just had a big blotch of brown right here. I had to blend it out, blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. It's a little bit powdery, but not too much. It is packed in quite nicely. And I like that about products like this because it means there's less fallout, there's less wastage, and it will last you a lot longer as well. But this is a very deep brown shade. If you've got very fair skin, don't even waste your money. You're wasting money, okay? You will not use this. It'll be too dark for your skin tone. You'll use it with such a light hand, they'll almost just be pointless. You may as well get something lighter so you can get full use out of it. If you've got my skin tone, again, be wary. You need to go in with a very, very light hand. If you've got deeper skin than me, even then go in with a light hand. This has been described, to be fair, as a deep golden brown and that is a hundred percent correct description for this and i'm a little bit surprised that they came out with a highlighter and a bronzer but not a blush very strange but that's what they've decided to do and then this one here which is called always one jump ahead made a mistake they haven't described this as a matte <laughs> why would they it's not matte it's frosty it's described as a frost and it's called gold with gold shimmer that's exactly what this is i absolutely love this this will work well on fair medium deep and mega deep skin tones on every single person out there this will work on their skin tone the one thing i like about this is that it's almost got the texture of a blush it's not that kind of flicks up loads of kind of too much the dust and that sort of thing that you can get with some highlighters it's not like their extra dimension skin finishes it's not like any of their highlighters to be honest it's the first time i've ever used something with this kind of soft blush type of texture look at how intense it is it's absolutely gorgeous and i love 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 it so first off what i'm going to do is i am going to use the bronzer and i am going to go in some some of my reviews i go in with a heavy hand just because i want you guys to see it at its full capacity but your friend's got to go out in public later so there's none of that right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this clean sigma large angled contour f40 brush and i'm going to use it to contour my face so i'm going to go in with a very very light hand and then you will see how deep and how amazing this actually is so there you go look at that i barely even touched my brush into this as i applied it and it applies beautifully it blends into my foundation and my powder with no problems there's no patchiness it doesn't move around it stays on my face all day long and i think it looks absolutely beautiful let me just tidy up this contour now because obviously i like to tidy it up a bit and then i will be back in a moment all right here we are now you can see look at how beautiful that looks lovely warm toned great for people who've got warm toned skin now just to be extra before i apply the highlighter I pulled out this vintage one. Oh, do you remember the Disney Villains collection? There's Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. And this is a beauty powder in the shade called Briar Rose. So old school. Here's what it looks like. Lovely. Gorgeous. Love it. So there we go. Now I look like I've got a little bit more colour to my skin. Now let's go in with the highlighter. Always one jump ahead. I will be using the Morphe M501 pointed blender brush to apply this. So it kicks up a little bit of powder but not too much. And here you can see how golden it is and how beautiful it looks. Now it definitely emphasizes texture slightly but not as much as like the extra dimension skin finishes because it's got more of a blush kind of texture it almost molds into the skin a little bit more but bear in mind if you have got textured skin you will be able to see your texture a bit more if you like me you don't really care go for it and a little bit on the cupid's bow just to give your lips that little bit of an extra fuller looking texture so here we go the highlighter the contour everything looks beautiful and i love it so let's move on to the lipsticks now as i said i have got three of them all together what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna swatch them on my hands first off just so that you can see how they look very thick against my skin tone and then i'm going to swatch them on my lips along with three recommended lip liners that i have decided go very nicely with these so this first one here is called princess incognito so this is a beautiful a very neutral toned 
pinky sort of shade. I absolutely love it. It looked amazing against my skin tone as a very kind of everyday wear kind of lipstick and it has a matte finish. This next one is called Raja which is obviously named after Princess Jasmine's tiger and it is a beautiful red berry sort of shade with a slight muted tone to it. Absolutely beautiful, would work well with all skin tones and it has a matte finish. And then last but not least is this shade called A Whole New World, which is obviously named after the very popular song from the film. It is a bright blue-based pink. And this finish is a little bit different. I don't use MAC that much anymore, so this is made something quite new to me. This is called a velvet matte finish. Now, the only difference I can tell between the other two is that it's got a little bit more of a glossy look to it, as you can see as the light shines off of it. All right, let's move on to the lip swatches. So the first one I'm going to use is Princess Incognito, and I paired this with Saw Lip Liner, which is a beautiful warm toned pink and it works really nicely with the neutral tones of this shade to create one which is a lot more wearable for people who've got warm skin tones. So this is Princess Incognito, as you can see is absolutely lovely. It really works nicely with a sort lip liner. It looks nice and natural and it's definitely something you can wear out during the day or to work or you can even deepen it up to wear it in the evening when you've got really kind of strong eyes and you want something quite natural on the lips this shade is definitely for you. Okay so the next one I'm going to show you is called Raja and the lip liner I'm using for this is called Half Red and this is what this looks like of course and it is named after Princess Jasmine's tiger. Okay so this is Raja and as you can see it's absolutely beautiful, such a gorgeous berry tone colour. To be fair it is very autumnal shade, however this is not a seasonal collection, it's just for Aladdin. I don't remember how she wore a shade like this but anyway uh, this is what it looks like and I think it will go well with all skin tones. Okay so the last one I'm going to show you now is this one called Whole New World and the lip liner I'm going to be using with it is Max Talking Points. They are both bright hot pink shades. Okay and then this one is Whole New World. This one like I said before has got a velvet matte finish. It definitely feels a little bit different than the other two. This one has a more comfortable feel. Not that the other ones have an uncomfortable feel, but this one is definitely more of the, like in between amplified and a matte. So maybe that's why they've called it a velvet matte because it's got a softer kind of texture on the lips. But I do have to say, overall with all of these lipsticks, the wear time is absolutely excellent. When I wore Princess Incognito the other day to work, I literally put it on at eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock at night, it was still on my lips. It hadn't needed to be touched up at all. If anything, it had faded a little bit. But what I like about these is that they fade very nicely. So even if you haven't had the chance to top it up, it still looks really nice on the lips. So overall, for this whole collection, I absolutely love the things that I've got. But definitely my favourites would have to be the highlighter and the bronzer. I absolutely love both of them. I'm sure I'll be getting a lot of use out of them. And then in regards to the lipsticks, if I really, really had to pick to say which one was my favourite, it's the one that I said earlier, this one, which is Princess Incognito. It's just the perfect kind of shade. This isn't something that everybody would wear all the time, but this is one that you would definitely get the most use out of. And I always like to put forward what is value for money. £17.50 for something you're going to wear now and then, maybe, but it's not a must-have. I would definitely say that these two are, uh, these three products are more must-haves than the others, but that's just my opinion. Um, that's it, really. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My earrings are also from Zara, because we all know how these days Charlene is like Zara obsessed. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are wonderful and great. If you've got any comments or questions about this collection, especially those of you that are outside of the UK and Ireland and you maybe need a little bit of guidance or advice on how some of these perform, ask me below and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you all soon. Bye.